The components required for this experiment are Node MC board, BME 680 sensor, connecting wires, connecting cable and a breadboard. Now log into the Arduino IoT Cloud website. Here enter the username and password and click on the sign in button. Now from the left side menu go to things. Here click the plus thing button from the top right. Now we can rename the thing name to smart indoor air quality monitor. and click on the rename button. Now we need to add 4 variables. Click the add button and add the first variable which is temperature. And here the variable type is float. We can select floating point number and click on the add variable button. Then click add again and add the second variable which is humidity. And the variable type is again floating point. Click add variable button. Now the third variable which is pressure. Click add again and add the variable name as pressure. Here also the variable type is floating point number. Click add variable button. Now the final variable which is gas resistance. Click add again into the variable name as gas resistance and select the variable type as floating point. Click the add variable button. Now we need to select the device. Go to select device button under associated device. Click the button. Here click set up new device and then select third party device. We are using node MCU board. So select ESP8266 and select the model as node MCU 1.0. Select that. Click continue. Here we can give any device name. Click next. Now here we need to copy the secret key. Select this checkbox and click the continue button and click done. Now we need to configure the network. Click the configure button under network. Here enter the Wi-Fi username and password and paste the secret key which we copied and click save. Now go to sketch. Here the basic template is generated. Now we need to add the logic. So I have already wrote the program. I am just copy pasting the code. You can find the program link from the video description. Now connect your node MCU board to your laptop. Here you can see the button will be enabled. Also you need to install the Arduino create agent to upload the program. Now click this upload button and upload the program. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the node MCU board. Now to verify the output we need to create a dashboard. For that go to the main menu. Here click the dashboard. Now click the plus dashboard icon from the top right. And also we can also rename the dashboard. Click here, click rename and enter the dashboard name as Smart Indoor Air Quality Monitor. And click on the rename button. Now from the top right, click edit. Here we need to add four gauges. Click add, select the gauge. The first gauge is for temperature. Give the name as temperature. And click link variable button. So select that thing which we created from the left side menu and select temperature and click link variable button. Here the maximum value is 100. Now click done. Now click add and add the second gauge which is for humidity. Click link variable button again. Select the thing, select humidity. Here click link variable button and click done. Now the third gauge which is for pressure. Add, add the name as pressure. Click link variable button. The link, link with the pressure variable. Here click link variable button. Now give the maximum value as 2000. And click on the done button. Now the final gauge which is for gas resistance. Add the name as gas resistance. 
click link variable link with the gas resistance variable here click link variable button and give the maximum value as 500 click done again click done from the top right now the dashboard is created now we can check the output we can also check the output from the mobile for that download the iot remote application from the play store once you open the application you can see the dashboard which we created in the Arduino iot cloud website now click on the dashboard you will see the all the gauges which we created in the Arduino IoT cloud website. We can also verify the output from here.